Banding Crew family. Today is a video all about baby girl names. Now I've done the my 10 baby names I love but I won't be using video. However, this was the full inclusive list that we made before we started to narrow down our name. Now the first name, as many of you guys know, is Penelope Joe. We knew right away when we found out that we were having a girl that she was going to have my middle name. So Joe was automatically gonna be her middle name. I'm sharing this with everyone because I love watching these videos. I feel like they give a lot of ideas for moms who are trying to find a baby name which can sometimes be so so difficult including Penelope there is 12 names so Penelope's number one I've already kind of told the story but what made us choose Penelope is we have four boys for those who do not know my oldest is a girl she's 14 but she's from a previous relationship so together my husband and I biologically have four boys together and we didn't think that we would have a girl so when I was pregnant with my last son which I thought was gonna be my last baby I had came across that name Penelope. I fell in love with it but I kind of moved on with it because I thought I was pregnant with my last baby so when my husband came across it when we were name searching I just knew it was the perfect name. There isn't a story behind it other than that. I'm really not going to go into like the origins and things like that. This is kind of just like a sit down chat. I will just tell you the name, kind of tell you why we didn't go with it, why I loved it, why I didn't kind of thing. Before getting on to the names though I will tell you that when I was thinking of a name I wanted something really cute but also kind of sound like a princess name. I kind of wanted just a princess name that might have a cute nickname to it or might not. So the first name I thought of was Anastasia. I thought Anastasia was a beautiful name. However, um, Lonnie and I have seen Fifty Shades of Grey. If I could have taken a picture of Lonnie's face when I suggested Anastasia, he didn't even hesitate and he just went, no, I will not have a daughter named Anastasia. <laughs> The next name was Olivia. This was a name that Lonnie's mom suggested when we told her it was a girl. And at that time we were very just overwhelmed. We weren't expecting to find out we were having a girl. We were like excited and there was just so many emotions. So we kind of put Olivia on the name list, but the more I thought about it, it just wasn't a name that I loved. I liked it, but I didn't love it. So that's why it kind of got pushed off the list. So the next name was Hermione. It was a name I loved. I love Harry Potter. I love that it was Greek. I just think it's a really cute, cute name, but we just didn't feel like it really fit. Hermione Joe did not sound cute. <laughs> so we just, we love the name, but kind of just didn't love the name enough for our child. The next name is Abigail. I absolutely love the name Abigail because it means father's joy, which was so sweet to me. And Abigail was a name we wanted to use since I was pregnant with Noah. If Noah would have been a girl, that was going to be his name. So it was a name that's just carried with us through all the years, 11 years. We wanted to spell it in the original Celtic um, Irish spelling, which is not the normal spelling. And I just really, really loved it. I love the nickname Abby for short. Abigail Joe was like our name for like forever. I think after a while when you've had a name for so long and then when it's time to really use that name, you just don't necessarily want to use it anymore, if that makes sense. And that's definitely how I felt. I had a really hard time letting go of it, but the name just didn't feel like it fit anymore. The next name was Annalise and I just fell in love with this name. This name was like, oh my God, guys, if I could have named her Annalise, I would have been so happy. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the Barbie princess and the pauper. <laughs> But her name was Annalise and we had to watch it so much when Danielle was a toddler. So he remembers the song and he's like, every time I hear that name, I think of the Barbie movie. So Annalise was not a name that he wanted to use. <laughs> the next name is Alana. I just realized I really like names that start with A. <laughs> but Alana was a name I loved. I just liked how it sounded. I do have a friend whose daughter's name is Elena, but I just loved Alana. Lonnie didn't really love it as much though. We feel like when we choose a name, someone originally comes up with the name. Like Alexander, Lonnie came up with Alexander, but I ended up loving it as well if I could nickname him Lux kind of thing. So we both want to like equally love and agree on a name. So when he was just like, oh, I'm not feeling Alana, we kind of pushed that name out of the water. 
The next name is Katarina. I love the name Katarina. It is from the Vampire Diaries, but I love that name so much. I just love how it sounds when you say it. That's also why I liked Penelope. I just like how it sounds like Penelope. But so Katarina was definitely a great name. It was actually going to be part of our top five names. However, we went through every name and put Joe in the middle name. And when I said Katarina Joe, it just sounded really bad. It sounded like you had this Bulgarian name and then this kind of like Southern middle name. So it just, it didn't flow. It wasn't cute. I didn't like it. And we were just like, no, let's, let's not do that one. So that is our, I guess, bottom names. Our top five names are what I am about to talk to you guys. Obviously Penelope is one of them. So I guess this is our top four going forward. But the two names that I'm going to talk about have sentimental meaning. I'm not going to tell the story. I've told this story before, but one of the names is Joanna. Liam was a rainbow baby, meaning I had two miscarriages before him. We really weren't trying to get pregnant. I didn't want to go through another miscarriage. A few days before I found I was pregnant, Lonnie woke up and said, hey, if we ever have a girl, I know what we can name her. And I was like, what? We're not even trying. <laughs> and so he said, Joanna, and there's a story behind it, but it had a really sweet sentimental meaning to me. That was going to be Liam's name if he had been a girl. I don't know. I just felt like I felt like I wanted her to have a new name. So that's why we did not end up using Joanna. Also, I felt like Joanna Jo was kind of cute, but kind of like repetitive because everyone wanted to nickname her Jojo, which was kind of cute, but I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get behind it. We ended up not using Joanna. The next name that has kind of a sentimental meaning is Aliana. I love that name so much. I thought Aliana Joe was like the cutest name ever, but it was actually the name that I was going to choose on my second miscarriage. Uh, we had already chosen a boy name. I don't even remember what our boy name was and we just couldn't decide. I really thought that my second miscarriage was a girl. And so I really wanted a girl name. We had decided on Aliana Joe and and a few hours later, I realized that I was spotting and bleeding and I went to the ER and the miscarriage was confirmed. So that was kind of like a bittersweet. Again, it's the same thing with Joanna. Like I want her to have her own name, her own new fresh name. And the next two names are kind of the same, but not really. And it's Isabel or Isabella. We both love these names. I loved Isabel, Lonnie loved Isabella. And the problem is, is that we just couldn't decide between them. We both love them so much. We liked the name Izzy. Lonnie liked the nickname Bella. So that's why he liked Isabella better. So in the end, it was between Joanna, Aliana, and Penelope. Every time I would just say Penelope, I kind of just knew that was going to be the name. Lonnie agreed with me. And that's how we came up with Penelope. If you have any cute baby names, please leave them in the comments below, whether they're common or unique, um, so that any other mamas or daddy's coming through looking for girl names will kind of have something to go off of as choosing a baby name is so hard especially when you're as excited as we were but if you are new to our landing crew don't forget to hit that red subscribe button we would love 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 to have you a part of our family and we'll see you next time where you move make me blind you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind you will always be the heading out